I am Marianne Eileen Wardle. I am the director and curator here at the College of Worcester Art Museum, and I've been here for about a year. I was reading an alumni magazine from Brigham Young University one afternoon and um, saw this spread in the magazine of these beautiful images and I read this story about a photographer who presented with the challenges of a COVID time, had a dream and imagined a, a really creative and positive response to this difficult moment. There were some challenges in bringing this project um, to the college. So initially my plan was to show this work last fall. Um, and we were sort of working on that. And then over the summer, the Jingle Dress Project group was doing a lot of traveling. Um, it was difficult to communicate because they were on the road so much. And they were creating new, beautiful work. And I really wanted to be sure that we were able to um, include some of that work in the exhibition. When I finally was able to get back in touch with them, talking with Jean, the photographer, about postponing the show to the spring. So we started to work on that sort of a timeline. But in the meantime, he also started a new MFA program, a Master's of Fine Arts. That just increased his busyness. So we did have a little, uh, some timing hiccups. Um, that was a little bit of a challenge. Another challenge um, that we were able actually to resolve on our end is that um, he is a photographer who's creating work but it's really expensive to print photographs and he is selling some work but I wanted new photographs that hadn't been printed before so one thing we were able to offer you know this emerging artist is some resources to print new work and help to compensate him in that way. I was really pleased to see so many people turn out for the artist talk and the dancers' performance. I've had classes come in so far. Yesterday we had a class on classroom management and social justice from the education department. There are a couple of classes studying Native American activism and Native American healing. Um, and I think that seeing people find this exhibition as a point of connection for really complex ideas is good. I'm hoping too that people will come in and they will, one, see an experience that's very different from their own, maybe, but also something positive reflected back at them. And people might be able to reflect about some positive changes that they were able to make during the pandemic time and ways that they still kept connected with each other or with the ideas that were important to them.